A League of Their Own. An absolutely classic movie. Um, not without its imperfections, but very, very good. And I saw a while ago that it was going to get remade, and I was like, great, thank God for another reimagining of a classic film. Usually when I see this kind of stuff, I'm, I, it reminds me to go see, to go watch the original. Um, and I've done that. I mean, the cast and crew is amazing. Um, you even have like uh, John Lovitz in his prime. You have Tom Hanks. You have, I think, Rosie O'Donnell too. Uh, Madonna's in it. Like all these, it's, it's just a fun blast from the past. And um, remaking it is not something that ever needed to happen. We have a movie that has an 81% uh, critic rating and an 84% audience rating with over 250,000 ratings. A movie that came out in 1992. This isn't like a classic that needed to be remade. Or is it? That's right. We now have a League of Their Own television show, which is, of course, super woke. Uh, and look at this. The critics gave it a 94%. They, the critics are saying that this show, an Amazon original, which now I guess is super diverse and all this kind of stuff that's super important. Um, you have lots more uh, people, women of colors, and now you've got some girl on girl action, which we're gonna talk about. 94%. The critics say this is significantly better than the original. 50 critics rate it compared to 71, 81% for the original film. The remake is significantly better. Now, the audience score is at a 61% which is actually pretty decent. Although for whatever reason, this says I see 42 at 57. When I, I see the same, I see 49, now it's at 61. I mean, if you look at top critics, they give the show a 96%, 96. There is 0% chance that this movie is a 96. Just watch the trailer. A League of Their Own series goes with woke, goes woke with queer stories and women of color. A League of Their Own series on Amazon Prime will have their queer stories and whammon of colors. The show's co-creator, Will Graham, explained about the twist on the hit from the 1992 film. The Prime series, and it's a series too. Lord knows we needed a whole series of it. Uh, film debuted at the Tribeca Film Festival with a co-creator discussing the series. Inspired by a fictional film about Rockford Peaches and the real-life All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Graham said that the series will focus on the untold stories of black women who actually did play baseball in the 50s and more. There's a much bigger story than it wasn't just about the team, but it was really about a whole generation, Graham said. That's a big part of why we wanted to make it. It was just this feeling of, especially with queer stories and women of color, having a story that's really centered on joy. Yeah, okay. So you saw this thing that was really good, that people liked, and you're like, how can we modernize it what was wrong with the original why did it need a remake oh that's right there weren't enough check boxes quote that includes straight people queer people people of color you know all the people that couldn't get fit into a one hour or into a two hour 1992 movie who's asking for that who's asking for more a league of their own i would like to know who is asking for a series of a movie from 1992 that it's funny, but it's no classic. It's no, like, it's not, like, number one in many people's hearts. Queer people didn't just come out of the blue at Stonewall. Jacobson, who, like Graham, identifies as queer, shared, I do think so much of the stuff we're dealing with today and the way you talk to your friends was there. We don't know their names, she added, of the three black women who her character is based on that played in the Negro Leagues, the outlet noted, I didn't know about them until the project came to me. And so just kind of uncovering their forgotten story. That's what I really love to do. You didn't know about them at all, but yet that's what you love doing. You love getting paid. Okay, let's be honest. It's absolutely insulting that you would give this remake a 94%. I'm not going to subject myself to watching this. Maybe I'll watch one episode. I know exactly what it's going to be about that because... A League of Their Own star talks about how she and one of my best friends uh, had some girl-on-girl -girl time 
during the show. Do you remember that awesome movie, A League of Their Own? I mean, just look at this cover. It's like a it's like a stock photo from a, a Photoshop from a picture frame. So diverse. Thank God. Do you remember watching A League of Their Own thinking, man, I really wish there was some hot girl on girl action in this in this movie about baseball? By the way, the trailer, uh, if we look at this, it has six million views. Six million, okay? It has only six thousand likes. Anybody want to take a guess at dislikes? Anybody? Anybody want to take a guess? Twenty thousand. 20,000 dislikes. The comment section is full of people dunking on it. I might be biased, but nothing will beat the Tom Hanks original. Why? The movie with Tom Hanks is a classic and perfect in every way. Don't try to fix something if it's not broken. This just makes me want to rewatch the movie, which actually is on my list on Amazon Prime. Some things just need to be left alone. Not everything needs a remake. Just call it something else. There's no crying in baseball. This show is bringing the heat. The OG movie is fantastic well the show better bring the heat here's uh, one of the actors having a meltdown i had the beautiful honor to be a part of this production this series and all i can say to all the negative people in the comments just give it a try if it's not for you fine but give it a chance we worked long hours to create something wonderful also to clarify in no way this is not a remake of the original the original is a classic for a reason this is a retelling Oh, yeah, that's okay. How's that different? The building blocks is similar to the film, but this is no way trying to redo the film. Then why are you calling it a league of their own? Why don't you call it something else? I don't, I don't get it. They're really like remaking the classics these days. Can't come up with any better. It's not that they're remaking the classics. They're ruining the classics. Let's be honest. I can't think of a single film that has been reimagined in the past couple of years that I thought was better than the original. Can you? I mean, I'm assuming there has to be at least one, right? There has to be at least one example of where they improved it. I would imagine. I can't think of one. Nope, can't. I really can't. I'm really racking my brain. Of course, on August 2nd, we got to the real information on a Daily Beast published excerpts of an interview it did with D'R.C. Carden for its Last Laugh podcast. Carden stars as someone in a league of their own. Um, and while I'm sure I could find out what her character's name is, I don't care enough to do so. During the interview, hey, I like this. Uh, who's writing this? Paul Hare. Good for you. During the interview, Carden describes how Abby Jacobs and her co-star and the series co-creator is one of her best friends who she adores. A few paragraphs later, and the article reminds the readers that when Jacobson was a guest on The Last Laugh last spring, she teased that unlike the movie, her version of the story would be focused on queerness in a huge way. Oh, thank God. She definitely wasn't joking, of course. And based on the exclusive interview with the Daily Beast, I'm guessing there will be even more alphabetness in the series and even more jaded people, I would guess. Maybe I'm wrong, but watch the clip and see why I say that. Um, it goes on. She ends up by noting, that's... Because kissing someone with a camera four feet from your face is weird, and someone who says it's not is truly insane. I don't want to, you know, talking about doing her follow up with a her female friend. I, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> how stunning and brave! Just like the last four hundred woke series they made, a second season is already looking unlikely for some unexplainable reason. I mean, this this is like. I don't know what to say. It's, it's, it's another classic that gets a reimagining that will be completely forgettable. I, I know why they don't change the title. You know why they don't change the title. But let's just be generous and think of some other reasons why they might. Maybe, maybe they just want to like spin off. They want to get some free marketing. To me, I think it's more about destroying the past. I mean, we've seen them say this right out loud many times. Seen it in, this, in the Star Wars series, right? Forget the past. Destroy it if you have to. Um, it, it's like a common theme in Hollywood. And I guess A League of Their Own, which is a great movie with tons of f f hilarious and talented female actresses, 
just wasn't woke enough because they weren't sleeping together. What an absolute joke. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.